Dane, first of all, welcome to Castleford Tigers. You've had your, your first day just, just how's it gone? Yeah, it's been a great day. Um, nice early start and uh, yeah, did a staff meeting in, into team meetings and videos and previews and uh, got out on the field and, and uh, went through a bit of a, uh, defence focus today. So it was good. It was a great start. The boys were all ears and on board with what, you know, Denny and I want to try and achieve over the next six weeks. So uh, it was a great start. Had a, had a really good day. Um, your first day down here as a coach, you played here a few times for, for opposition teams down the years. Just what was it like stepping out there as a coach for the first time? Oh, I look a little bit different. Firstly, the terrace is empty. You don't have to layer up to the fans anymore, but uh, not, not in training. But, uh, no, I enjoyed it. It's a, it's a great place to be. Um, a really good uh, you know, atmosphere to be at. I know when the ground's full. Um, so look, to come here as, as a coach for the first time, um, Really excited, so excited to see what we can achieve with this group in the next six weeks, and um, yeah, just get let's get to work, get into it. And you announced last week that you're going to be one of our assistant coaches. You you arrived on, on Saturday, I think. How was that flight over? Uh, Saturday morning, it was um, it was a tough flight actually because I, I had to travel firstly from Sydney to Melbourne, uh, just you know domestic, and then I went from there to here and. It's about a, just under 15 hour trip to Doha and then another seven or so hours, I think seven hours to, to here. So I think I, I had about three and a half or three half an hour blocks of sleep in 36 hours. So mate, I'm looking a bit, a bit weathered at the moment. It's been, it was a tough 36 hours, mate. Yeah, you've, you said that you've lived in the UK with your, with your dad's career and your obviously playing career as well. How does it feel, it's feel to be back on, on UK soil? Oh, it's great. It's actually driving um, back across the motorway, back to Cass and just doing a bit of reminiscing and through towns that I've lived at and things, you know, whether it was as a young man um, following my dad's career around or even me as a player, you know. So excited to be back here um, and looking forward to the, the next six weeks. You're obviously coaching back in Australia when, when you heard of the interest here. When did you first hear that customers were interested in your services? Uh, look, um, I, I've seen there's an expressions of interest, you know, obviously earlier on in the year and um, just the conversations went from there. Um, obviously, they, they ran with Andy last in this, this last appointment um, and unfortunately probably haven't had the results they'd expect or want. Um, and, and, you know, next minute they've, they've reached out to both Danny and myself. So Danny and I are excited by the opportunity. He's a previous player here, so he knows what it's like um, to be here. Um, it's my first time here. Um, I, I know what the club's about. I know a lot of people that have played here previously. You know, I've just reached out to Dale Fritz, who I'm friendly with at home in England, and showed him his heritage number on the board in there, sent him a, te a text message and a picture. So, look, it's exciting. Um, you know, just really looking forward to getting in and getting the job done. Do you think your knowledge in, of rugby league in this country is going to help you settle in quickly? Oh, definitely. You know, it's not brand new to me. Um, I know what England is. I've lived here 12 years on and off since I was a kid, you know, with my dad's career and then my career. So to come back as a coach is exciting. I'm um, really looking forward to it. Like you mentioned before, you know, I've been in a few systems at home since, since I went home and left playing here in the English Super League. Um, you know, I started at West Tigers and had a good couple of seasons there. Um, I've been a, an assistant underneath Paul McGregor at the St George Illawarra Dragons in reserve grade. I worked my way through a South, really, really good South Sydney system. You know, they're one of the most successful teams in history. Um, probably one of the best systems in the world. And I was lucky enough to be in there and working with Wayne Bennett and Jason Demetriou and, and learning my trade, you know, a, a little bit better in finer details through them. Um, so, yeah, look, I'm, I'm excited to see what I can bring uh, with, with my detail and knowledge for this playing group and, yeah, just see, see the results we can get. You mentioned there was NRL clubs, some, some big clubs there, and you've worked under some, some massive names in terms of coaching. Just how has that helped you in, in your particular coaching career? Yeah, hugely, I think. Firstly, being a son of dad, John, um, and, and the, the levels that he's reached as a coach, whether it was with Wigan or Warrington or uh, Halifax as a, as a, a player coach. Um, you know, that, that's great. So living and breathing what a coach's life uh, is like at home was great. But then to work under the coaches that I have, you know, the ones that I just mentioned and... Um, yeah, everyone's got their strengths and weaknesses, so it's up to me just to try and take as many of those strengths I see that suit me and the way I like to deliver things um, and, and put it all into one package, mate. So, look, it's, um, everyone's always learning. There's always, always better things you can do, and um, I just you know, hope that what I can bring at this stage to this group is enough and we, we stay in Super League. You've always just had one day working here under under Danny, but just how well do you think your your and his kind of philosophies and styles are going to complement each other going forward? Yeah, really good. Look, Danny reached out to me back home in Australia on Thursday last week. So, um, you know, we had a really good conversation about 
what our philosophies are and our standards that we want to accept and we both have really high standards and we drive a, uh, a professionalism that um, we're going to hold the boys to account. So, look, we, we, it's not just going to be an army camp, you know, we need to come in here and make it fun for the guys. Obviously, they've had a pretty rough season so far. Um, so we, we need to come in here. A few subtle changes, um, you know, but just try and get the best out of these guys. You know, it's a, it's a very talented group that we've got. Uh, for some reason or another, they haven't been able to put it, get it on the pitch, but that's up to us to try and get the best out of them. You'll be working with Craig and, and Scott as assistant coaches as well. Just how have you got on with them? And, and how <laughs> <found it? laughs> they're great blokes. They're characters. They're both real characters, as is Denny. So um, they're really good people. I'm excited about the staff we've got. I'm excited about... The, the, managers, the management staff that we've got, you know, they're, um, they're all really nice people. They've been outstandingly welcoming, them, uh, welcoming, welcoming for me. Um, yeah, so I've just enjoyed the last 48 hours I've been here and uh, looking forward to getting this week out of the way and hopefully getting a, a, a good result. You mentioned to me earlier in the day that you'd be looking to, to kind of target the attacking side of things in terms of our play. Yep. What kind of things will you be looking to, to implement in the, obviously it's only a short time until the, the end of the season, <coughs> what, what in terms of the attacking Yeah, look, I've been brought in here to help Danny and look after the attacks. So, um, had good good chats and meetings with the boys today and, you know, the, the senior players with uh, Gareth, Blake and uh, Jacob. So um, I think we're all on the same page. I think... With the ability that they have, all they need is a little bit of attention to detail and a few subtle changes that they're doing um, to hopefully get these results that we want and just making sure everyone's on board and everyone knows their role. Uh, making sure they're, as a group, not just the staff but as senior players, that uh, we're all setting high standards and we're sticking to that. And, um, you know, if we keep working hard during the week, I'm sure the results will come. Your first game with us will be against one of your, your former clubs that you, that you played at in Wakefield. Yeah. You must be relishing the opportunity to go back there as a coach with Casper Tiger. Yeah, look, it's a massive, massive game. Um, like you said, it is one of my previous clubs. Played there a couple of seasons in the early 2000s and had a great time at Wakefield. But again, I know what a relegation battle looks like. I've been in one, you know, when at Wakefield, playing at Wakefield. So... Um, they know what it looks like. It's up to us now to bring the best out of these guys to ensure that uh, we take the, the right step in the right direction this week. And your first home game will be against St. Helens. You mentioned a few tries you scored down here against some of your, with some of your former clubs. What will it be like walking out the tunnel but wearing a, wearing a costume for this time in front of that crowd? <clears throat> exciting, exciting. It's probably better to have the cast crowd on your side than against you, that's for sure, because I've caught plenty of ribbons out here, especially when you're kicking for goals and you're up against the sideline and all the locals are into you. So um, at least I don't have to kick any goals anymore.